Good morning, everybody. So today is um, Saturday, the day after Thanksgiving, and I realize that with January looming so close, I really need to get to decorating my planner, my Erin Condren, and getting it organized for January. I already have some doctor's appointments and things like that that need to be taken care of. So I thought, you know, I'm not really doing anything today and it made sense to start working on those things. Um, Thanksgiving was kind of a quiet day around here so I managed to do a couple of things to really get ready for decorating my planner and so I'm going to show you those things and I'm going to show you how I'm using them. So the first thing that um, I want to remind you guys of is that this is my Erin Condren for this year. I did do an unboxing video so you guys that have seen that um, already know that this is the Horizontal Erin Condren 2016. I did not pay for, um, I got this back in August and I did not pay for September, October, November and December because I already have an Erin Condren and I wanted to finish that one up and I didn't want to pay extra for something I already had. So, um, let me show you the monthly spread that I have right here. Um, as you can see, I've already started putting some stuff in here. Um, I'm going to zoom in so you can see these just a little bit better, but I wanted to give you a, a general overview of how it looks so far. Um, I don't really have very much planned out yet for January, so I'm just really putting in the things that I know that I need to know um, for my monthly overview. So let me zoom in just a little bit. So you can see this now. I'll have to kind of move this around, um, but you can see here on my Sundays, I've put my little Jesus fish. Um, I know it sounds kind of strange, but it is a reminder to go to church. Um, some days I have to work on those days, so um, I will put them, when I do have to work on a Sunday, I will put those little fish on Saturday night just to remind me to go to Mass on Saturday evening. Um, now let me zoom in just a little bit more because I really want to show you these little labels that I made. Now I used, I used Avery.com um, and just designed some little labels that I can use in my planner and I will, I will show you some in just a second but they have these images that you can use, generic little images so I chose some balloons and then I just typed in um, someone's name and a birth date so I would re be reminded what day to put that on. I'm horrible with dates, really I am. And then this one kind of got covered up because I didn't realize that all of this was going to be on one day. Um, but I did choose to do Holy Days of Obligation as well. So. I chose just a cross and then I put what the Holy Day of Obligation was and the date that it was for those. I also created a payday sticker. This is for my husband's military retirement payday. Um, again, with the Holy Day of Obligation and my payday. And then I do a Bible journaling with my girlfriend Dara. Um, and she comes over once a week and or once a month and we do that. So that is how I'm using my monthly spread. I haven't put my husband's payday paydays in yet. Um, they change and so I need to make sure that I know what those days are. So let me flip the page here and I'm going to show you, i zoom back out just a little bit. So this is my daily spread. As you can see here, I have a to-do sticker here um, so I can write my things out that need to be done. 
I have my medication list here as well as little boxes and again I just did this on Avery.com so if you guys are interested in seeing how I did this um, for those of you especially that are diabetics or have daily reminders of things that have to be taken at specific times I can definitely do a video on this just let me know um, but I did create enough for, of these for every day and then I have a little box blocked off here for my work schedule and then I have this blank box here and you'll see how I'm using those um, in just a minute but I wanted to show you this specifically so I'm going to zoom back in this is a daily medication box that again I created on Avery.com I used the one and a half inch blank um, template uh, I think it's called a one and a half square edge to edge label. I believe that's what it's called. And I just put some little dots in here so I can remember to color those in or check them off or whatever. As a reminder that I've taken my medications, I've done my Vigo, my Victoza, um, my PM medications, and then I created three boxes because I'm supposed to. Uh, test my blood sugars three times a day at least and then I just cut them out and they fit perfectly in this box um, in this space that um, is allotted and I had thought the reason why I used the one and a half was I had thought to put them in these blank boxes but I had already started filling these blank boxes in with uh, little reminders and I'll show you here uh, let's see again there's my work schedule so as you can see I've already put a sticker in here to call my mom um, and then a YouTube sticker well it's not a sticker it's just some washi tape it's a reminder to either upload or check YouTube or do another video something like that so that's what I had already started using those boxes for so I just decided that since I had blocked off, let me zoom back out here. Since I had blocked off with some thin washi tape, I had just decided to place it right up against the washi tape, and that leaves this whole square here for um, things that I need to do, appointment reminders, stuff like that. And I have my medication, and then I have my work schedule, and then I have just little reminders of. Um, things that are really just scheduled every week or every month or whatever um, and also just decoration I can show you here in February um, you can see it's just decoration for the month of February little stickers that I had that I thought were super cute um, so that's how I'm using my Erin Condren this year and as I go through and um, really do more um, I'll be sure to upload some more videos showing how I'm using it and how it's working out for me and any changes that I've made. But um, let me show you real quick these little things here, these little medication reminders. Um, they can obviously be customized uh, for your your needs or your wants or you know whatever. So um, definitely check it out. And if this is something that you would like. Um, specifically for you but you're not quite sure how to go about it if you're just uh, confused or stumped um, feel free to send me an email and I can certainly help you out with that um, or do it myself and then send you the file and you can just print it print it out yourself so like I said I just um, this is just a template and you can choose a background for it or whatever. Um, it gives you a lot of options as far as backgrounds and I chose to do a purple background because purple is my favorite color. Um, so as you can see, let me zoom down as far as I can here. Um, as you can see, this is a whole page. Um, there are 24 medication reminder boxes on here and this is just um, Avery labels and you can choose to get the um, the labels that are pre-cut 
I find that those are very difficult with my printer and the templates um, to be even so I just use my Martha Stewart paper cutter and I print it out on a whole sheet label that's these right here um, these are 5165 and they're the eight and a half by eleven full sheet labels and then I just print them and cut them to my specific size um, so it it's these I got from Amazon for like ten dollars there's a hundred sheets of labels here so basically I can get about seven thousand different uh, labels for my Erin Condon if I need them. And like I said, I did print out these Holy Day of Obligation ones and just cut them out and they it works great. I have no issues whatsoever with it. So, um, this is the other thing that I printed out for and I'm still not certain if I'm going to use this. I will post a link to her blog. She has amazing labels and stuff for your planners and these are not specific for the Erin Condren. Um, they are a little bit tall so I will probably um, end up cutting these down just a little bit but this is a water tracker from Miss Wenda <clears throat> and I'll post a um, link to her her blog her website down below in the video um, like I said this is a water tracker and it's a little bit tall and I will probably cut off the water tracker part because I I do drink water um, I will never drink eight glasses of water a day or I guess that's how many yeah eight glasses of water a day but I am thinking about dra um, tracking my uh, fluid intake period like coffee um, I do drink water like I said uh, tea stuff like that and I will probably just uh, write like a C up above that I had a cup of coffee or a T for a glass of tea or, you know, put a W for a water or something just to see what I'm drinking and how that fluctuates and stuff like that. And this may actually not go in my Erin Condren. It may go in a mood tracker um, journal just to see if the things that I'm drinking or the things that I'm eating um, are affecting my moods at all because I know that sometimes co coffee can make you kind of crabby caffeine I guess so um, so I can adjust that so that is what is going on in my Erin Condren right now so remember if you need any help um, with this, Avery.com is really a great place to go. It is super easy. They have instructions step by steps and really you can just play so many different fonts and boxes and shout boxes and just all kinds of stuff. You can get images directly from Avery.com. Um, they have thousands of them. So really just play around and see what you like and um, you know make it work for you. It doesn't necessarily have to be a medication tracker. Um, it could be you know a sports schedule or if you have a regular doctor's appointment and or if you have I don't know just there's so many different uses for it it's really kind of fun. So I hope to talk to you guys soon, and remember, if you need any help, just give me a, give me a holler. I'll put my email down below, or you can post directly on the comments section, and we'll go from there. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day.